Well, prison guards sent an email to the Chester County prison warden hours after Cavalcanti's escape became public. The county says those guards simply wanted to inform the acting warden of the escape risks for the convicted killer and make sure it was well known. It's surreal at the moment. Like, my God, you know, first day on and here we go. I got it. I got an escape. He had served as a consultant prior to August 31st, barely settled into his office. Howard Holland is notified a prisoner escaped. I no longer just have one person assigned to a tower. Each yard hall now has one person a tower and one person walking at ground level observing these yards and what's going on. Cavalcante scaled a wall, ran on a rooftop and made his way off the prison grounds because Holland says a guard missed the escape. He was an inattentive to his duties because there's no way he should have been able to not see that guy. The guard's been fired. Adding more eyes in the towers and on the grounds are some of the changes Holland says have occurred at the prison, as well as the clothing. That's one of the things that, you know, hit me strong when this person was out there as to why were they in either the, the gray shorts or the green pants with the white shirt. And I have, you know, other inmates here, they're actually in orange attire. So we sat down with the command staff. Uh, we came with the plan to get everybody in high visibility clothing, uh, especially those ones that we consider high escape risks. And Calvacante was an escape risk. The county says Danello Calvacante was initially identified as an escape risk when he was captured in Virginia and committed to the Chester County Prison in 2021. And during the time of his murder trial, information had come into the county reinforcing his status as an escape risk. Recently, this email was released by Chester County. It's addressed to acting warden Holland. The date, August 31st. The time, nearly 4 o'clock in the afternoon, hours after Calvacanti escaped and several hours after Holland appeared alongside of others, pleading for information on Cavalcanti's whereabouts. The county says the escape risk policies have changed under Holland's leadership, and he's asked for more from the county, including a canine team, drones, and other enhanced security measures in the wake of the escape. Holland says while the area where the escape occurred is monitored with cameras, he wants to add more and a centralized room dedicated solely to viewing those video feeds free of distractions. Holland says the prison is running at a deficit due to worker shortages. And while dozens of applications have come in to work for the Chester County Prison, he says the staff there is taking what happened not just seriously, but personally. They're beat up over it. You know, they, they don't want to wear their uniforms out in public like. You know, they're, they're, they have a sense of failing, and even though they weren't working that block or in that time or in that tower and they were on a completely different shift, they, they feel that we've let down our community, which we have. Now, combating that is going to take some time, Holland says. He also reminds you that the AG's office is investigating the circumstances surrounding the escape itself. Cavalcanti is now being held at a maximum security state prison in Montgomery County. He's also facing escape charges, and he is expected to appear in some fashion before a judge in that case next week. Live in the newsroom, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.